I'm really in need of a tiny peening hammer. I've been using this sort of Taiwanese style tack hammer and it's just not suitable. The steel's really soft, just not good. And then this larger ball peen is just too big. This is a piece of 19 millimeter medium carbon that's 45 millimeters long. Really small, but should work for my purpose. So I normally always start slow with eye punching, just establish where I want to punch on each side before getting into a uh, higher heat. I need to give a really big shout out to Mark Balzaret. His recent super generous donation is the reason why I was able to take time to make this video. He went above and beyond, and this is not the first time, so I really do appreciate it. Thanks very much, Mark. I'm a little off on this cheek here, but I can correct that. By the way, you can see me using my version of the Ultimate Tongue from a couple videos back. Really pleased with this and started selling it, just haven't listed it yet on my website. Happened just as I planned it. And if you believe that, I have the deed to the Brooklyn Bridge if anyone is interested.
It's tiny, but it works. Now where have I heard that before? This is a really old piece of wood I've had lying around, and I transform it into this handle. The wood color lightened up a bit, must have had some sort of coating on it. I made this stumpy hammer in a previous video. I want this tiny peening hammer for very small diameter copper and brass rods like this. Since I've been making more knives, I find that I have the need to be more accurate with peening over small rivets. This should suit the job well, and you'll be sure to see it in action. That's all for now. Everyone have a happy new year, and I'll catch you guys next time. Mm -hmm.